After months of rumours and speculation, we finally have a director for the Marvel Cinematic Universe's Spider-Man 4, and it's none other than Shang-Chi's director, Destin Daniel Cretton. This is big news, and I think we can learn some valuable information about what this film might be based on this director. So what can we learn from Spider-Man 4's new director? Let's talk about it. Hello and welcome to Cinemates, and if you're new here, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. So in this video, I'm going to talk about my thoughts on this new director, then about some of the rumours, and then tie it all together. What can we learn about this film? And the best place to start with this is my thoughts on it. Now, I like John Watts' MCU trilogy. I thought it was fun and it was fresh, and Spidey needed this injection of youthful energy after five films that all felt pretty similar. And it went from what we originally thought was a very new, different, fresh take on the character to a three-part origin story that ended up working surprisingly well. While it did slowly become more and more different from the source material, I think that was intentional and No Way Home ended us in a place that managed to bring Spidey back to basics in a genius way because it didn't undo the previous trilogy. And that was an exciting prospect. And I've always said after No Way Home, I wanted a new director. I enjoy what Watts did, I really did, and two of his films are in my MCU top 10. But I was ready for something new, a more mature, grounded and classic Spidey story. And I think a new director is needed for this. So I'm glad they didn't take the safe option and they didn't bring John Watts back. Instead, we're getting someone new, and that is a good thing. Early in January, we began to hear rumours of Drew Goddard, who was the creator of season one of Netflix Daredevil, and he was hired to direct a Sinister Six film during the days of Andrew Garfield's universe. After him, in March, we heard rumours of Fast and Furious director Justin Lin, and after that, around May, we heard rumours of Ms. Marvel, Batgirl, and Bad Boys director duo being eyed for the project. Then, we didn't hear much for a while, and now we finally have it. Destin Daniel Cretton has been confirmed to take on Spider-Man 4. So what do I think? Well, it depends what type of movie we're getting. A prevailing rumour for a while now has been that there are two possibilities about the type of film Spider-Man 4 will be. And we'll go more into these later, but essentially the rumour says that Marvel want a small scale, grounded, street level story focused on Peter Parker who has lost his identity. While Sony want another No Way Home, a large scale multiverse movie that brings back to other Spidey actors and ties into their Sony Venomverse. And there seems to be a real clash between the studios and who gets the final say. Fans seem to massively favour Marvel's idea of a small scale movie because we want a movie focused on Tom Holland's Peter as his own hero, which it still doesn't feel like we've had. We want a classic Spidey story in the MCU, but Sony, like money and multiverse movies, make money. Also, their Spider-Verse movies have been well received and they want to connect their universe to Spidey himself. So considering Destin Daniel Cretton and his work in the MCU on Shang-Chi, does he work for these types of films? Well, if it's a small scale street level movie, I think he is absolutely a great choice. The best thing about Shang-Chi is unquestionably the practical stunt crew the grounded fight scenes are awesome and Cretton directed them so well. So imagine what he could do with a character like Spidey with unique abilities. It really wasn't until No Way Home where John Watts really started to experiment with Spidey's action and I think Cretton could take this even further. He worked with Simu Liu who does some of his own choreography so working with another athletic actor in Tom Holland makes Cretton a good pick. The Shang-Chi film also had good character moments and made the relationship between the related hero and villain interesting and that's what you want from a Spidey film especially with how No Way Home ended. Now he's a alone, he's vulnerable, he's throwing himself into being Spider-Man. It would benefit from someone who is good at character work. And looking at his filmography outside the MCU, he's done some very character-based work focused on serious themes, perfect for where Spidey is now. And Spidey is common for having these villains who are connected to Peter in some way. And clearly Cretton did a good job of this in Shang-Chi. I also felt like Shang-Chi gave San Francisco a bit of character and New York should feel like a character in a Spider-Man story. And so that's another good sign if he can give New York a distinct feel and flavor. However, if it's a multiverse movie, that's a different story. Large stakes, big CGI battles, Marvel references, these are the things Shang-Chi struggled to balance and it really fell apart when it stopped being a character-based martial arts film and became a Marvel movie. So maybe he's not the guy for this. Now it is worth saying that Cretton was signed on to direct Avengers Kang Dynasty at one point in time. So clearly Marvel wanted him to do more multiverse stuff and so maybe he's better at this than I'm giving him credit for. Marvel must see something in there and so if he lost out on doing a multiverse Avengers movie, it makes sense to give him a multiverse Spider-Man movie. But my overall feeling is if this is a grounded city level story, I think he's a great pick. If it's a multiverse story, he'll probably be fine, but it's not playing to his strengths. My other initial reaction is what does this mean for Shang-Chi 2? We've previously heard that they're planning a sequel and Cretton was attached to direct it, potentially filming in 2025. However, with Spider-Man being made, this seems highly unlikely, especially for next year. So will we get a Shang-Chi sequel? And if we do, will he even be attached to it? And if he is 
attached to it will that delay a potential Spider-Man 5 if he wanted to direct that too? Cretton will be a busy guy and he also just wrote and directed some episodes of the upcoming Wonder Man show. So he will have a lot going on and I don't see him being able to take on both these characters at similar times. So either this means he's done with Shang-Chi or he will only do Spider-Man 4 and he won't be attached to future Spider-Man films. And all of this is assuming that he doesn't get burnt out because the previous Spidey director did three movies, he was hired for a fourth and then he stepped down because it was just too much. Now let's look at the rumors in a bit more detail, starting with the grounded story rumors. The rumor we've heard for the longest time that I think fans want the most is the Daredevil vs. Kingpin team up film. And things feel in place for this. The film comes out after Born Again. Peter has already met Matt Murdock, so there's a connection to the previous film. Kingpin is running for mayor and will likely take on vigilantes in New York. Peter has no Avengers connections, so introducing a hero without connections makes sense. It would be grounded, street level gritty, which Feige has talked about these two characters being linked together in this environment in interviews. And the Kingpin actor has been pushing for this for years. On paper, this one sounds the best. It feels like the right time, and I genuinely think Marvel wanted this to happen because it lines up perfectly with what they were setting up. But I don't know if Sony want this. There's also rumors of Black Cat. I like Black Cat, but she's always so hard to introduce without ruining his current relationship. But in the MCU, it's the perfect time because right now there's no MJ around and Peter will be spending time as Spider-Man. So he'd be interested in someone who he isn't putting in danger. There's still the dangling thread of Scorpion. He could be connected to Jameson, who was prominent in the last film. There's also rumors of Mr. Negative. Steven Yeun dropped out of playing the Sentry in the Thunderbolts, but recent rumors have said he's signing a new character with Marvel and it could be Mr. Negative. And there's the symbiote post credit scene from No Way Home. This could be a black suit story, which sets Peter up for the black suit in Secret Wars like in the comics. And outside of characters, there's a rumor that this will be a very personal story with lots of Spider-Man as Peter pushes away his Peter Parker identity, a reverse of the Spider-Man No More idea. Now this is a lot. You can make a whole trilogy out of these ideas. And of course, there's a chance that some of these are in the film together. You could do Black Cat and Black Suit, or you could do Back in Black style against Kingpin. Scorpion could be hired by Kingpin or Mr. Negative. Black Cat could be a completely separate third party not attached to a hero or villain but there's just too much here for all of this to be true plus there's the whole multiverse rumor but basically the whole year we've heard rumors that sony want to do a multiverse movie despite all evidence pointing towards the grounded story and so other than bringing back garfield and Maguire, a multiverse story didn't seem to make sense that was until the recent venom trailer where we see null and suddenly the multiverse stuff started to seem more likely venom will introduce null briefly setting him up as the villain of the venomverse where the previous three spider-man team up with venom to take him down and it just sounds like something sony would do now i don't hate it it does seem fun and it would make money but it doesn't sound as interesting as a grounded character based story focused on tom holland's peter despite seeing him in six films it doesn't feel like he's had a movie to himself yet and so i will always favor character stories first i can accept the venom verse but it shouldn't come at a detriment to the main spider-man film let's think about what we can learn by looking at the rumored directors all of them that were rumored they have worked in projects within superhero or big franchises within the studio environment this makes sense it's a superhero film and they need to balance the relationship between marvel and sony and all of these directors are very action orientated and not just action but stylized practical action daredevil fast and furious bad boys chung chi these all have stylized really well choreographed action they've all worked on projects that are kind of grounded they're mostly about normal or street level people who have real human issues they all have this in common which really points towards this being a grounded street level story Cretan himself specifically has a history with serious mature mental health character focused type films outside of shang chi and this would point towards the rumor of this being a character study about peter versus spider-man again pointing towards street level however we know there is a symbiote connection between venom and no way home's post credit scene this film is likely to come out between two massive multiverse avengers films Cretan was hired at one point to direct a multiverse avengers film and we know sony would love to use null as an overarching villain so maybe the answer lays somewhere in the middle maybe the answer lies in a compromise neither studio gets exactly what they want and they meet somewhere in the middle because homecoming and no way home both had compromises between the studios and again that's likely here and there is a rumor that says this will be a multiverse movie and a grounded street level movie now how does that work well either it will be a massive story across the multiverse which keeps the focus on peter in the way that across the spider-verse does for miles or it will be an earth level story with multiverse implications like no way home or into the spider-verse and i honestly think that's where the evidence points towards i think it will be a character based and street level movie but the villain's plan will tie into a larger multiverse threat and potentially set peter up for future multiverse stories in the sony universe let's look at the director we got he's action orientated specifically practical stunts and martial arts he's good at emotional character work has experience doing a villain with a connection to our hero he is better at the grounded work 
but he was hired for a multiverse movie. And so if I had to guess the villain, I think it's going to be Mr. Negative. We can't do Kingpin connections with multiverse because Spider-Verse has already done that. So Mr. Negative is a villain who hasn't been done before. He's well known enough from modern comics and games. He feels like he'd fit into the MCU nicely. Feast already exists and he could tie that personal connection with Peter as he also knew May from Feast. He's street level, but his powers could somehow be connected to the multiverse tying into what Sony wants. We're bringing in a prominent Asian director with rumors of a prominent Asian actor coming to Marvel. Plus Mr. Negative has been portrayed with having a martial arts fighting style tying into the director's experience with Shang-Chi. Mr. Negative's powers often explore a dark emotional side, which can link to Peter having this internal struggle and may even link to Peter having the symbiote balancing his identities, something which Mr. Negative struggles with. I think there is a lot of evidence that seemed to line up Mr. Negative as the villain for Spider-Man 4. Now I need to end this video saying this is all speculation. Right now all we know is the director is Destin Daniel Cretton and the previous writers returning. Other than that everything is speculation. All of these rumours are just that, rumours. And sure some seem more realistic than others and some will be true. Some may have even been leaked by the studios to gauge audience reaction but some will be false and it's always fun to discuss and I think we can look at the director we're getting and start to place some of the rumours together to work out what could be real. So overall if we're getting a grounded movie I think this director is good because that plays to his strength. If we're getting a multiverse movie I don't think he's the right pick and honestly I don't want a multiverse Spider-Man 4. Balancing the relationship between Marvel and Sony must be hard and I don't think either studio are going to get exactly what they want but they'll have to agree some middle ground and I think that middle ground will be a street level story focusing on Peter and Mr. Negative which ties somehow into the multiverse maybe using the symbiote black suit and I think that movie could work pretty well. So that's what I can learn from Spider-Man 4's new director. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts on this director in the comments below. What rumor do you like the sound of grounded street level or multiverse? If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to see more content like this going forwards. But for now, thanks for watching. Cinemate.